Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these outfits in GTA Online. If you enjoy the video then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. Also if you're into anime and not too sure what to watch next, I recommend that you go and check out my friend's channel and specifically his Why You Should Watch series. Okay so now that we have all of that stuff out of the way, we can now get onto the actual video. The first thing to note is that doing this glitch will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. To begin, we're going to press start, go to online and press swap character. As expected, this is then going to take you to the character selection screen. In order for this glitch to work, your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it's in the second one, this is not going to work for you. We're now going to go over to slot 2 and we're going to create a new character. If you can, then I recommend that you copy your main character's rank over to this new one so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store. Also, this will not affect your main character's rank so don't worry about that. At this point, we're going to make sure that the character is a female and press save and continue. We then need to enter a name and take a photo, which is going to load up the cutscene. However, once the cutscene is done, it will then load you down into a GTA Online session. When we do, we're going to open up the map and waypoint a clothing store. If the stores aren't on the map, then just go and find a new session. Okay, so once we're down at the clothing store, we're going to start browsing the outfit section and go into the highest coveralls category. From here, we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the blue one called the Quarantine. With that purchased, we're then going to back out of there and head over to the accessories section. But just before we start browsing, we're going to open up the interaction menu. Now go into style and accessories and we're going to remove the chemical mask. With the hood down, we're going to go into the accessory section and start browsing the earrings category. Again, we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Please don't forget to buy these as they will allow the pouches to transfer later on in the video on the male character. So if you don't buy them, then the pouches won't transfer. Okay, we're now going to go and save this into outfit slot 1 and we're going to call this one 01P1 which means outfit 1 part 1. We're now going to leave accessories and instead head over to the pants section. From here we're going to go into the suit pants category and start scrolling through the list until we get down to the grey scruffy suit pants. If you're new to this glitch and you don't know what's happening, just buy exactly what I'm buying and you'll be fine. Now that we have these pants equipped, we're going to back out of there and head over to the top section. Next we're going to go into the work jackets category and we're going to purchase the peach camo closed field. It should be closed by default if you've just made the character, but if it is open, then all you need to do is go into the interaction menu, go into style and make sure that jacket is set to closed. With that out of the way, we're going to go back into the top section, but this time we're going to go into the gun running t-shirts category. Now go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the blue digital t-shirt. Please make sure you purchase the one at the bottom of the list as there are ones in the same category which have a similar name. Okay, so to move on, we're going to back out of the top section and head over to shoes. From here we're going to go into the sneakers category and purchase the pink plain high tops. Now go into edit saved outfits and we're going to save this in outfit slot 2 as 01P2 which is outfit 1 part 2. We're now ready to move on to the components for the second outfit. Once again we're going to go into the top section but this time we're going to go into the shirts category. From here we're going to start scrolling through the list and we're going to purchase the skate guffy short sleeve. Next we're going to back out of the top section and head over to pants. From here we're going to go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants. As we already have the shoes, gloves and earrings from the previous outfits, we're going to go ahead and save this into outfit slot 3 as 02P1. Just in case you haven't caught on yet, that means outfit 2 part 1. Okay so moving on to part 2 of this outfit, we're going to back out of pants and head over to the top section. From here we're going to go back into the work jackets category and re-equip the peach camo closed field. Just to clarify, please make sure that the jacket is still closed as it won't work if it's open. Okay, so we're now going to go back into the gun running t-shirts category, but this time we're going to go to the top of the list. From here we're going to go and purchase the dark woodland rolled tee. It has to be this exact one, so please don't pick anything else. With that equipped, we're now going to go and save this into outfit slot 4 and call this one 02P2, and I'm sure you know what that means by now. Alright, so that is pretty much everything for outfit 2, so now let's go and move on to outfit 3. To do that, we're going to go back into the top section, but this time we're going to go into leather jackets. Go down to the bottom of the list and scroll up until you get to the beige stealth jacket. After that's been purchased, we're then going to back out of there and open up the interaction menu. We're going to go into inventory and body armor and make sure that we have the standard armor equipped, which is the black one. Then just go ahead and close the interaction menu and go back into the top section. From here we're going to go and save this outfit into outfit slot 5. I'm going to call this one 03P1. So the last thing that we need to do here is go into the sports jackets category, go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the sea green puffer jacket. 
Once that's equipped, we're then going to back out of the sports jackets category and instead go back into the gun running t-shirts category. From the top of the list, we're going to scroll down a few until we get to the blue digital rolled T. Again, make sure it is this exact one and not one that has a similar name in the same category. If you pick a different one, you're not going to get the same results. Okay, so just before we go and save this, we're actually going to back out of the top section and open up the interaction menu instead. A lot of people seem to forget this part, so please don't. So we're going to go into inventory and body armor, and once again, we're going to equip the standard armor. Now that we have the body armor, we're going to go back into the top section and go and save this into outfit slot 6, and we're going to call this one 03 P2. Those are all the transfer outfits that we need for this video, but if you want to, then you can go and watch some of my other transfer videos and fill up the rest of the empty outfit slots with those outfits. Of course, that is completely optional. Just before we move on, I'm going to go through the outfits that we currently have, just so that you can double check. Of course, if you followed the tutorial correctly, you should have the exact same outfits. Again, just make sure that you have the B&W Deco earrings and those gloves on as well. So yeah, just make sure that your outfits are exactly the same as the ones that I'm showing you right now. Okay, so to move on, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and you're going to switch to any of your saved outfits. It doesn't matter which one it is. An orange circle will then pop up in the bottom right of your screen when you close the interaction menu, indicating that the game is saving, which is very important. If it doesn't show, just wait a minute and switch outfits again. Next, we're going to press start, go to online, and go down to creator. As expected, this is then going to load up the creator menu a few seconds later. When it does, we're going to go down to create a race and select tutorial. We're then going to press yes to this message and you'll be brought to a screen similar to this one. At this point, we're going to press the start button if you're using a controller or the P key if you're using a keyboard to bring up this menu. Next, we're going to go over to the online tab and we're going to go into choose character. When the character selection screen loads up, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to go over to the female character in slot 2 and you're going to delete it. Please be very careful when doing this, do not delete your main male character by accident. Okay, so once the character selection screen loads up once again, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right of your screen and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This is then going to take you down into single player and when you're able to, you're going to press the start button. Now we're going to go back over to the online tab, press play GTA Online and press go. When we get into an online session, we're then going to go into a clothing store and start browsing the outfit section. From here we're going to go into outfit saved and as you can see, the outfits that we made on the female character have now transferred over to the male character. Next we're going to go into edit saved outfits and we're going to save the outfit that we're currently wearing, which is our favourite outfit from the beginning of the video that you wanted to keep, into an empty outfit slot. I recommend slot 10. Okay so it's now time for the merging part of the video, so we're going to go into the outfit section and go into the diamond casino heist category. Now I'm going to give you two options, so the first one is to go into infiltration upgraded tech and purchase the infiltrator. This is the outfit with the black pouches. To unlock it, you need to be wearing it in the heist finale of the Diamond Casino heist. If you don't have these unlocked, then instead you can go into the Kyo Perico heist category and go into Grassland Armor. You can use any of these outfits from here which have the coloured pouches which do not have any requirements to unlock. To move on, we're going to go into the interaction menu, go into style and accessories, and we're going to remove our headgear. The reason for this is just to stop the screen from going green in the mission we're about to do. Now press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and we're going to start up the mission called crooked cop. In the settings screen, we're going to make sure that clothing is set to player owned, this is very important. Then go and confirm the settings and you need to go and invite someone, now you can use auto invite to get a random person, or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one online. Alternatively though, you can also go into the militated discord server where you can find someone to help you there, the invite link is down below, just make sure that you read the rules first. You'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen after launching the job, and we're going to go down to owned outfit. Now press right once to equip 01P1, and then right again to equip 01P2. Now press ready and wait for the other person to do so as well, and then the mission will start. When it does eventually start, you're then going to open up your interaction menu, go into style and accessories, and press left once on where it says gear to equip an earpiece. You can then close the interaction menu, bring up your phone, and quit the job from there. You'll then load into a session with the outfit, and the gloves will disappear. To move on, we're simply going to head down to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the outfit section. We then just need to make sure that we save this into an empty outfit slot, and we're going to call this one Outfit 1. Of course, if you want to, feel free to name it something else, but just make sure you remember what it is. Anyway, we're now going to go and delete 01P1 and 01P2 as we no longer need those. Be sure to leave those two slots empty for now. Before we move on with the rest of Outfit 1, we're actually just going to go and merge the other outfits to get them out of the way. To do that, we're going to go back into Diamond Casino Heist and then go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech. As we did before, we're going to equip the one called the Infiltrator with the black pouches, and then we're going to back out of there to remove the mask. You can do this by going into Style and Accessories and removing it from there. 
Next, we're then going to go and start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did before, just make sure it's set to player owned. At the outfit selection screen, we're going to go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip O2, P1, and then right again to equip O2, P2. Then just press ready and wait for the other person to do so as well and the mission will start. Just as we did before, we're going to equip an earpiece from the interaction menu, close it and then quit the job from the phone. We then spawn down into a free mode session and we're going to head back into ammunition. Just as we did with the first outfit, we're going to go and save this into an empty outfit slot and call this one outfit 2. With the outfit saved, we're then going to go and delete O2P1 and O2P2 as we don't need those anymore. Just be sure to leave those 4 slots empty for now. We're now going to go do the merge for outfit 3 and then we'll move on with the rest of the outfits. Same as before, we're going to go into Diamond Casino Heist, go into Infiltration Upgraded Tech and equip the Infiltrator. Then just back out of there, open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and remove the headgear. With that done, we're then going to go and start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we've done twice before, just make sure it's set to player owned. Now go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip O3P1 and then right again to equip O3P2. Then just ready up and when the mission starts you're going to open up the interaction menu, equip an earpiece, close it and then quit the job. Don't worry about the skin showing through the top, that will fix when we go down into the online session. As expected, we're then going to go down to an ammunition and save this into an empty outfit slot and call this one Outfit 3. After that's done, we're then going to go and delete O3P1 and O3P2 as we no longer need those. Ok so back to Outfit 1, we're going to go into the outfit section of the store and we're going to go into Heist Coveralls. Make sure that you have at least one of these four outfits from the bottom of the list purchased. This will unlock the chemical mask in the mask store which is what we need. With that cleared up, we're going to open up the interaction menu and equip Outfit 1. We're then going to close the interaction menu and head over to the accessory section to start browsing the gloves category. You can pick whichever gloves you want but I'm going to go for the black armoured. The black leather gloves also work well too. Anyway we're then going to back out of accessories and instead head over to the shoe section. From here we're going to go into the boots category and purchase the black flight boots. Of course if you prefer the black tactical boots then you can keep those instead. We can then leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci beach. From here we're going to go into the hat section and go into the combat helmets category. Now you can use whichever helmet you want but I'm going to go for the black advanced. Next we're going to back out of hats and go into the mask section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and go into the gas category. Once again we're going to go down to the bottom and purchase the chemical mask which we unlocked by purchasing one of those four outfits that I said earlier. We're now ready to go and head back over to an ammunition and we're going to start browsing the weapon section when we get there. Now I'll just go to the top left and purchase a parachute and then I'm going to back out of there and open up the interaction menu. Now I'll go into style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. We're now going to go back and go into inventory and from here we're going to go into body armour. Simply just scroll through and equip the standard armour. We're then going to head over to the top section of the store and we're going to make sure that we resave this into outfit 1. That is pretty much that one done so we're ready to move on to outfit 2. To begin, we're going to go back into the outfit section and go into highest coveralls. From here we're going to equip any of the 4 from the bottom of the list, it doesn't matter which one it is. We can now leave the ammunition and head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. At this point all we need to do is sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it. If done correctly, you'll just stand there with no mask instead of looking into the telescope. Now open up the interaction menu, go into style and we're going to equip outfit 2. The chemical mask will then reappear when we walk away from the telescope. Ok so we're now ready to move on so we're going to go back over to an ammunition. At this point we're going to start browsing the outfit section and we're going to save this into outfit slot 1 and we're going to call this one merge. Make sure it's in slot 1. Now that the outfit's been saved we're going to completely close GTA and restart it. If you don't restart it then the glitch we're about to do won't work so please just make sure that you go and restart the game completely. Ok so now that we are back, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and we're going to go and switch to a random saved outfit, it doesn't matter which one it is. And then we're going to go and switch back to the one called merge. I know that might seem pointless but you just have to do it. Also if the chemical mask doesn't show up the first time, then just equip the outfit again and it should show up the second time. Next you want to make sure that your spawn location is set to last location, this is also very important. We're now going to go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go to missions and start up the first one which is a titan of a job. Then just go ahead and confirm the settings and press play. This is a solo mission so you don't need anyone with you. You'll then either spawn inside or outside of the ammunition and you should not have the plate carrier on. If you spawn in with the plate carrier and a scruffy balaclava instead, well, you didn't restart your GTA. To move on, we're then going to start browsing the outfit section and go back into edit saved outfits. Now just make sure that you go and resave this into outfit slot 1 which is merge and then we're ready to back out of the mission. So just go ahead and back out of the outfit section, bring up the phone and quit the job from there. You'll then spawn down into a free mode session and we're going to head back over to the ammunition. Don't resave the outfit when we get back into the session, this is very important. Instead we're just going to go into the top section and go into the sweaters category. From here we're going to scroll through and purchase the black turtleneck. However you can use a different turtleneck if you prefer such as the grey one. 
Whatever colour you decide to go for, we're going to back out of tops and start browsing again. This time though we're going to go into suit jackets and purchase the moss long suit which is the first one. Ok so now that we have the turtleneck under the jacket, we're ready to move on. To do that, we're simply going to start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did before. Again, just make sure clothing is set to player owned. Once you're at the outfit selection screen, we're going to go down to own outfit and press right once to equip merge. As you can see, we now have the turtleneck under the jacket which you can't normally do. For reference, you can't have a gun belt on this outfit as it will remove the turtleneck underneath. In the mission, just open up your interaction menu and equip an earpiece and then we're going to close that and quit the job via the phone. When you're in a session, you're then going to go over to a clothing store and start browsing the accessory section to go into the gloves category. We're then going to equip the black armoured or whichever gloves you think work best. Next, we're then going to back out of there and instead head over to the pants section. From here, we're going to go into the utility pants category and purchase the black battle pants. If you prefer, then you can use the newer black knee pad cargoes, but personally, I think that they have a slightly green tint to them, which I don't really like for this outfit. Whichever ones you decide to go for, we're then going to back out of the pants section and instead go over to the shoe section. When we eventually arrive there, we're then going to go into the running shoes category and purchase the mono retro runners. You can also use a pair of boots instead if you want. Okay, so we're now going to leave the clothing store and head down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. Now go into the mask section and go into the diamond casino heist category. From here we're going to be purchasing the black neck gaiter. If you picked a grey turtleneck, then you can also pick the grey neck gaiter. For reference, you unlock the black one by completing the Diamond Casino Heist finale with it equipped. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to back out of the mask section and instead go over to the hat section. From here we're going to go into the biker helmets category and purchase the black spike from the bottom of the list. Next we're going to go into edit saved outfits and we're going to resave this as outfit 2. After it's been saved, we're then going to completely back out of hats and start browsing again. This time though we're going to go into the bandanas category. You can pretty much pick whichever one you want, but I'm going to go for the black tide as I want to keep it quite simple. Ok so we're now ready to move on to the next part and we're going to need two vehicles, one of them being a car with a solid roof and the second one being a motorbike. I recommend bringing your own motorbike as cars are much easier to find. To begin, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style. Now go down to outfit and scroll along to outfit 2 but do not equip it. Instead we're going to go up to where it says parachute and enter the vehicle. Then go back down to outfit and equip it as soon as your character's hat disappears. If done correctly, you'll be wearing the black dome and the gator. Next go up to where it says parachute and exit the car. We're then going to go back and go into security serve and register as a CEO. This is where the motorbike comes in, so we're going to open up the interaction menu once again and go back into security serve. Mine was a bit glitchy there for a second for some reason, but don't worry if that doesn't happen to you. So we're now going to go into management and style and press right once to equip the outfit called founder. Now get onto the bike and press left once to go back to none as you're getting on. If you've done that correctly, you can now see that we have the gator and bandana on together. At this point, we're then going to go and head over to the nearest ammunition. In the glasses section, we're going to go into the gun range glasses category and purchase the black gun glasses. Of course, you can select a different pair of glasses if you prefer. Anyway, we're now going to back out of there and head over to the gear section. From here, we're going to equip the grey earpiece or you can keep the red one if you want. Whatever one you decide to go for, we're then going to go over to the weapon section and purchase a parachute from the top left. Next, we're going to back out of there and instead open up the interaction menu. Now go into style and parachute and make sure the parachute is set to on. The parachute is completely optional, so if you don't want it, then you don't have to have it. To finish up, we're going to go back and instead go into inventory. Now go into body armour and equip the standard armour. It's a small detail but you can see it under the jacket. That is pretty much everything for this outfit so we're now going to go over to the top section and resave this into outfit 2. After it's been saved, you can also go ahead and delete the merge outfit in slot 1 as we no longer need that. Just before we move on to outfit 3, there is one problem that you're going to face with outfit 2. Of course I'm going to show you how to fix it, but you might notice that if you switch outfits and then switch back, the mask will disappear and it won't reappear no matter how many times you equip it. To get it back, just go up to where it says parachute and enter a vehicle. As you're getting in or on the vehicle, just go down to outfit and equip it again. Unfortunately, you will have to do that every time you switch back to this outfit because this mask isn't meant to be worn with this hat. Thankfully it only takes a few seconds though. Ok so let's move on to outfit 3 which is the final outfit for this video. To begin, open up your interaction menu, go into style and equip outfit 3. Now close your interaction menu and instead go into the accessory section. From here we're going to go into gloves and purchase the black armoured or whichever gloves you prefer. That is actually the only thing we need to buy from here, so we're going to go into edit saved outfits and resave this into outfit 3. We're now ready to leave the clothing store and move on to the next step. Ok so for this part you are going to need the noose outfit. If you don't have the noose outfit, which you probably don't since we deleted all our saved outfits from doing the transfer glitch, then don't worry. Simply go ahead and follow the video which is on screen now which works for all platforms. By that I mean Xbox, Playstation and PC. If you happen to be on PS4 though, you can go and follow the one that is currently on screen now which is much easier. It's a husky job which I'm very sure you're familiar with. Both links are down below. 
Okay, so we're now going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the D-pad as soon as we get near it. If done correctly, the mask and helmet will disappear and you won't look into the telescope. Next, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and we're going to equip outfit 3. Before we walk away though, we're instead going to go up towards his accessories and we're going to equip the grey earpiece. We can then close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and the mask and helmet will reappear. Now that we have that, we're going to go and head back down to an ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. As usual, we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left and then we're going to back out of there. Then just reopen the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and make sure the parachute is set to on. That pretty much finishes up this outfit, so simply just go over to the top section and resave this into outfit 3. This video was way longer than I expected it to be, but if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join the Militator Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is down below. Just be sure to read the rules first. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. Thanks once again for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.